Howdy everyone, y'all know what it is, me the Pokemon Rax, and I'm going to the card for the episode number 58, Luffy vs Majin Buu. So let's go, wahoo! Give me one second. I'm actually not sure who's gonna win this fight. I know some stuff about Luffy, but not much about Majin Buu. I know Kirby's beating Majin Buu. I know Kirby and Fuel are beating Majin Buu, but I don't know much about him still. Luffy, I know quite a bit about him, but not much, because I don't watch One Piece anime. Only anime that I watch mainly is Pokemon. <laughs> Just Xeno? I don't think I've heard of him. <laughs> you should be interesting. Let's continue. So if you like what <clears throat> Let's continue now. Head on over to his channel and subscribe. <clears throat> Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a Luffy versus Majin Buu. Majin Buu. And I know what you're thinking, and you probably know what I'm thinking. And since we probably are thinking the same thing, I have nothing else to say except let's introduce. I don't know what you're thinking. This has effect to make the turn people to candy. Let's start things off with Luffy. Now Luffy has been on Cartoon Fight Club before. Against the Mr. Fantastic. He, here, he fought Mr. Fantastic. And, not and won. And has changed for Luffy since his last time on this show. So this segment is mostly going to be <laughs> Anyways, Luffy Luffy's being some tough opponents like Mario. From eating a rare double fruit known as the gum gum fruit. After consuming this double fruit, Luffy's body became like rubber. Giving him the ability to stretch and attack long distances. Having undergone intense training for over 10 years, Luffy is now able to supplement his stretching powers with immense strength, agility, and creativity in combat. His fighting style is largely improvised, thus having him rely heavily on his double through powers. Before the time skip, it should be noted that Luffy cannot automatically stretch his limbs out since his body acts much like an actual rubber band. He has to throw in some force into his punches in order for his limbs to stretch out. Of course you turn off now. Somehow he managed God to damn it. Wi-Fi is acting like shit right now for some reason. Luffy regularly uses his stretching powers in indigenous and creative ways as he is able to use the malleable stretchiness and elasticity of his limbs to gain tremendous velocity. And he hits his enemies with devastating impacts and blows. His rubber body is also extremely durable and virtually immune to blunt attacks such as <laughs> bullets, punches, and electricity. More often than not, That's me problem. bouncing off his body harmlessly or canceling out the attacks. It has even become a running gag that people find it hard the way Luffy is made out of rubber that when they shoot him, only to have the bullets bounce back at them. Besides his stretching abilities, Luffy has two other fighting tricks up his sleeve. Those two tricks are his gear shifting abilities and his awakened hockey abilities. The gear shifting abilities allow Luffy to control his blood and inner body to massively improve his stretching and growth abilities. That's a problem. There are four different types of gears, and each gear has something slightly different to offer. The strongest gear shift can literally inflate Luffy's muscular structure. Now, the second trick of Luffy's sleeve is hockey. Put it back on. Hockey is a mysterious power that is found in every living being in the world. Hockey is separated into three categories or colors. One type of hockey is known as Kimba Shoku Hockey, which grants a user a sixth sense of the world around them and limited precognitive abilities. Another type is known as Bosu Shoku Hockey, which allows the user to use their spirit as armor to defend against attacks or to make their own attacks more potent. I don't think I know who's going to this fight now. Probably Luffy, but I haven't heard about Majin Buu, so I'm going to wait for here by him to make my final pick. Been a time for Majin Buu. Let's 
discuss Majin Buu. Majin Buu is a you already know pink. Duh. series who first appears as an innocent looking pudgy pink genie like creature. Later in the series, it is revealed that Boo's original appearance is that of a sleek, demon-like child, also known as Pure Majin Boo. <laughs> However, his nature and form had been altered after he had assimilated the Gentile Pudgy God into his body. Boo's summoner, a wizard named Vividi, had used Boo to wage war on the Kaioshin. Boo managed to kill two of the five Kaioshin, and absorb two others, <laughs> the second being the one who altered his nature to become innocent. After Bibbity sealed Boo away, Bibbity was killed by the only remaining Kaioshin, <laughs> and Boo was transported to planet Earth where he lay dormant for five million years until Boo was revived by Bibbity's doppelganger, Bobbity, during the events of Dragon Ball Z. Boo has many forms, such as Kid Boo, Fat Boo, Innocent Boo, Good Boo, Evil Boo, Future Evil Boo, and finally... I think in this one, this fight, Evil Boo and Future Evil Boo, and Super Boo, these song help ones. And this form of Boo can tear through solar systems with ease. Boo oh. can use his antenna to shoot a beam at anyone or anything and turn it into anything else. <clears throat> he most commonly uses this to turn a person into candy, chocolate, or some sort of food. <laughs> but, he has also been shown to turn people into clay and a rock into a whole bathroom. Who <laughs> can regenerate any lost limbs, heal any injuries, or yeah, be Boo's gonna fight. After being blown to I think he's gonna win. He can only be killed if he is completely destroyed, so that there is absolutely nothing Yeah, Boo's gonna have a hard time doing that. <laughs> Generate, he can easily be in big trouble. <laughs> On a high note, Boo can turn any part of himself that is detached into a liquid and use it to swallow up a victim, which is then absorbed. He can also <laughs> stretch his limbs extremely far, and like most fighters in the Dragon Ball series, he can fly, shoot energy waves, and has super strength. Overall, Majin Boo is an easy planet busting pink killer, and his strongest form, Super Boo, can tear up a whole solar system. And it's gonna be a problem for most people, for Luffy, I think. I think Majin Boo's got this in the bag. <laughs> he can just turn Luffy into candy. Ooh, pretty good animation. You can't bet. Too slow, man. <laughs> Amazing 3D animation. Are you really that hungry? I, mean, I would prefer a sprite animation, but this animation is pretty dang cool, I gotta admit. Yeah. Now remember, remember what? What is that? Yeah. Yeah, she ate it, now Majin Buu's gonna be mad. Yep. Ow. Is he down already? After one punch? Nope. He's mad. Gear second. He's in his second gear. That's a lot of punches. Bit. He's made Boo mad, apparently. What just 
Super Boo. I think. What? You're done, Luffy. You're done. Is it enough to do it? Is Boo done? Nope. Luffy's done. Keep everything that at one punch. <clears throat> when I say Majin Boo was gonna win and I was right. Wasn't. I'm not surprised at all. Why did the match not begin with? Freaking all of those. That's a fair response. I'll do both. I'll start with the easy one. So yeah, why Luffy loses to Majin Buu? <laughs> That's the perfect response. <laughs> I feel Luffy stood pretty much no chance. Yeah. There's no way Luffy can beat Majin Buu. Th that's done. Majin Buu is faster, stronger, more durable, and easily more destructive than Luffy is. The poor kid did not stand a chance in this Only fight. area that, he, that no, Luffy might have a chance in was experience. Why would I do a matchup like this in the first place? Now, I <laughs> could just give you a blunt answer, but that wouldn't be fun, would it? Instead, I'll offer you a subliminal message. And if you're clever enough, You'll figure it out. Roll the clip. Word of advice to figure that out, don't think too hard. If you overthink, the transform? you end up wasting time. But you can figure it out. Okay, now to give Majin Buu a challenge. If you want to see just Fat Boo versus all of the Straw Hat Pirates, you know what to do. Comment down below. Oh God. Death, and if this episode gets 5,000 sudden death comments, <laughs> that's a bit unfair. Also, don't forget to comment. I got this. Let's continue. And it also might be ready to the next fight tonight as well, maybe. I might be able to, I might be able to, but not sure. This fight I'm able to react to. I want to. Mainly because of one of the fighters I know really, 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 really well. Oh, and not so much. But I still think I know it's gonna win. No matter what. Nits, go away. Not Eggman. He's not the fighter. He's one of the fighters. Sonic. Versus... Flash. Time for a detour. My money in this fight is... Already, before it even started, Sonic. With ease. 
I think we'll, I think you'll easily kick the Flash's butt because, well, it depends on which Sonic it is. If it's Archie Sonic, it's already over. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to tell your like, subscribe, channel new. Bye.